Hey guys, it's Emma here today, uh, and today we are be doing. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be doing another episode of. We're going to do another episode of Skin Brawl, but this time with only Connor because Mason is interesting. So, Mason one last time. So that means that we had to choose a theme by ourselves, um, and we chose Minecraft mobs. As no, a we theme. chose Minecraft. So if you don't remember, basically what Skin Brawl is is you get one hour to make a skin based on the, based on the theme, and then um, you have to present that skin, explain it, and then the users then the users have to vote what their favorite skin is and then they get to choose uh what the theme is for next round so yes pretty genius idea i came up with it so um with me competing is lava llama aka connor awesome kid aka connor um, so, we are allowed to use references this time because it's about mobs, but last time we weren't. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> are you ready? Ooh. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! Drop it. <laughs> okay, guys, so first, my first plan is to murder Connor. Then I Wait, have what? an automatic win. <laughs> Okay, so first I'm starting with my gray base. So, uh, I don't know what Connor's doing, but I'm doing mine based on an Enderman. So, basically, I'm gonna get the color by using this. I don't think it's against such rules, but <laughs> I'm gonna get it from a color from image thing. So, this gives me a color palette, which is amazing. Wow, cheater. Alright. You guys heard it? See, it was a cheater, we're officially disqualified. Oh, uh, see, like, they look super bright in game, but, like, it's, like, a light color, but I'll try it, see what if I like it. Which this is not against the rules, because Connor said we could use references. I think the hair should be, like, a dark purple. I'll probably change this a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna make it darker and more reddish. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna make, actually make it lighter again because of, I want to contrast well with the black still. Actually, I think I'll make a boy because I'm trying to improve on this. I kind of think of Enderman as like the edgy, misunderstood. You know, they literally come from another world. Could be as smart as this, humans. Oh my gosh, I kind of wish Enderman were real so I could have one as a friend. So, since he's pretty boxy, I guess we're gonna have kind of boxy bangs. Uh, yeah, that was an exaggeration. We can be like this. I mean, it is Minecraft, but you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna spend probably about 10 more minutes on the design. Hopefully less, though. Oh my gosh, what if we give it a beanie? Give him a beanie. Uh... So since we're allowed to use references, we're allowed to look at our skins. So to see how I've done a beanie in the past, because I haven't done one in a while. At least I don't remember doing one. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I might change that to gray. I know Endermen don't have gray on them, but I don't want it to all be one color. They're always holding stuff in their hand. You could have like little gloves. That'd be so cute. I feel like this needs some type of design. Simple but cute, maybe? It's kind of badass. Oh, wait, how much time is left? Okay, 30, 38 minutes. Are you serious? Yes. I've only done my head and I haven't <laughs> even finished it yet. <laughs> I just got the design, bro. I'm gonna have the beanie of black, but maybe you could have a gray outline. Pretty edgy dare, mate. Life is meaningless. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah uh, ha ha. 
You know That's a like joke, it. or is it? Okay, first I'm gonna show his hair. Ah, that looks terrible. I'm like a job. <laughs> okay, you look terrible go. in real life. The difference. They've never seen me in real life. Wait, yeah. Okay, that looks fine. Let's test the front, though. Shut up, please. Oh, see, that creates a problem Pokey with the skin tone. Pokey fried chicken is hot. 27 minutes. I have a pot of soup. I feel like this needs to be actual purple. Like, I like that palette a lot, but not for the skin, you know what I mean? Okay, Omigo. I haven't even made the actual body. I haven't shaded anything. You've actually, like, made a shirt? <laughs> yeah. I haven't. <laughs> Here. Have you shaded the hair, though? Yeah. So, see, I haven't shaded the hair. Wait, what if I had, like... Yeah. Okay, that's pretty rad. In my opinion. So let me know if you like the speed paint ones or like more of a walkthrough video. Why aren't you complimenting my singing? You only compliment things you like, you do know that, right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! That was mean! <laughs> I didn't get it for I didn't get it for a second. <laughs> okay. So, wow, since we dude. both did not finish, and it, it would just not be good if we both had an unfinished skin, I am adding 15 minutes to the timer. Oh, and if minutes. And if we don't finish after this, it's game over. We still have to submit and show our entries. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Okay, everyone, so basically what I need to do now is I'm shade, almost done. finish shading the hat, which should mm. not take long, I hope. And your feedback means a lot, so please vote. Your feedback means a lot! Uh, and then after this, I have to shade the skin, and then I have to shade the... and then I have to add overlay. But, oh, five, okay, five, seven choice. minutes. So, guys, in seven minutes, I have to do overlay. Wish me luck. I'm just doing finishing touches now. Okay, guys, so we the timer officially ran out, and we are officially <laughs> doing the interview section. So, if you don't want to listen to the interview, which I think is really interesting, they're short, sweet, nice little interviews about the skins that go into depth about why we did that. And why we made the skin. If you want to skip this part though, I'll have the little time pop up and you can skip to that part to just see the montage and vote. So yeah, I really hope you guys um, listen to the interview. Um, let me know if you do and what you think in the comments of each. So first I'll be interviewing Connor. So let me show off his skin. There will also be a montage so you can kind of see it better. So, that's with the hoodie. Um, wait, wait, okay. So, apparently there's two versions. There's one with the hoodie and one without. So, first, this is in the front with the hoodie. And the back with the hoodie. So. And in the front again. And then this is how the arm is. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to give a short explanation of something he wants to do, I guess. Okay, so I tried to do, like, the brown connecting to, like, the pants, but then it looked, like, really nerdy and just, like, what do you mean? really big like pants. What do you mean? No, I tried to, sorry. <laughs> I tried to, okay, so you see how, like, the browns, so I tried to do brown pants and just, like, bring it down, but then it looked like the pants were, like, he, it had, he had, like, really big pants, <laughs> so I just didn't like it, so I had to look at the last, like, couple of seconds I finished the black pants, so I did the yellow shoes just because yellow was kind of the primary color, so, okay, so that's the, it's, like, the hoodie, 
Uh, it's probably not the best version of the skin, in my opinion, just because, to me, the head kind of looks like a turtle head. <laughs> like the turtle shell in Minecraft, you know what? And then, okay, <laughs> so, if you go to options, and skin customization. <laughs> I haven't even asked you a question yet. Hide off. And then here. Um, one question, the first question I have is why did you choose to do the design like this? The design? Okay. The bandana and stuff. And like why you chose. Okay, so the reason the I did the, uh, brown is because it kind of looks like, um, uh, Blaze's mouth is kind of covered up by like smoke. So it's kind of like, if you have the hood on, it's like the eyes are on the top part of the head. Um, if you guys, you can't, guys can't see that in the game, but. But then, we also have the, uh, bandana mouth part. Yeah, that's like the smoke. And then on the shirt, too, you even have like more of the smoke. It's ice brown because it kind of looks better than the black. And I don't need to do brown, black pants. So, uh, yeah. And it's like the blaze. Okay, so the reason I kind of did like the edges of like the shirt and like the stuff like that is because the top of a blaze's head is kind of like that. So I kind of wanted to go for like the top of a blaze's head because it just kind of was simple. And I really did like to do like to look like there's kind of like particles or like smoke all over the shirt. I kind of just put it like a random like dark yellow like type looking dehydrated pee <laughs> <laughs> just like that all over as like little smoke particles and then like yeah it comes up from like actual smoke um cool. and see so you have the eyes just watching you at all times definitely like it um yeah that's the skin and then the hair i did like a light pink color with kind of reddish orange what do you what is your favorite part of the skin? Probably the shirt, just because it looks pretty, well, like the jacket, I mm -hmm. think. Just because it looks pretty cool, and like on the back you have like the hoodie type area. Mm -hmm. Just looks really cool in my opinion. Um, why did you choose to do the Blaze skin, uh, the Blaze mob? Okay, so if you think about it, my channel is like Lava Llama. It's fire, so I thought about a skin that could be, fire. like, fire. <laughs> fire. You know, my skin's really fire, so go check it out on Skindex whenever I upload it. So check out my fire skins. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your least favorite part of the skin? Definitely the, uh, pants. Why? Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I like all of it. Why do you keep wanting the hoodie off? I like the hoodie off just because I think it looks better. Because the turtle shell head. <laughs> yeah. What was the hardest part of the skin to make or to come up with? Like, design? The, what part? Definitely. Okay, this took the longest and it's probably the hardest. Is the fact that, like, if I, whenever I have the hoodie on, that took so long. What is something that you wish you could do, that you wish you would have done better or differently, or that you'll look out for in the future? Uh, probably commentary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is now time for Connor to interview me about my skin. So watch out for the montage, watch out for the interview. So let me do a quick brief. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do a quick brief description. So basically, this is a male. This is a uh. So basically, this skin is of a, a. Uh, it's a human personification of an Enderman. Um. Um, and yeah. So I hope you like it. And now, Connor. Uh, with the interview question. So what made you choose an Enderman? <laughs> Enderman. Man. Okay, I'm so I chose an Enderman because I really like the color palette. And I feel like it would be kind of easy. But like, easy. <laughs> like, not exactly easy, but like I already have a good color palette I can use.
Um, and I really like Enderman. What made you add the beanie? <laughs> That's the whole question. Okay, I added the beanie because... It just made it look better. <laughs> no. <laughs> Because I imagined him as edgy, and I wanted mine to be, like, a unique, different flair. Um, if you want a version without the beanie, request below, but still vote for me. The whole Enderman vibes are, like, misunderstood. They're edgy. And... <laughs> What's your least favorite part of the skin? My least favorite part of the skin is nothing because I like how it turned out. And usually I don't say that. But for this, I say that because it's just how I feel. I'm not trying to be cocky. I just... This is the final question. <laughs> Where would you rank this on your best skins list? My... One of my favorite male skins. It's not my favorite skin I've ever made because um, I struggle with making interesting and innovative male skins. Yeah. But I definitely think that this is towards the right direction. I wouldn't say, I actually love a lot of the male skins I've made, but I definitely say I am really proud of this one. So, um, comment what your thoughts are below, um, comment why you voted for who, um, and what you think the next theme should be. Hey guys, it's Narration Emma speaking, and I just want to say, um, Make sure to vote in the comments who you think won, uh, and they'll be able to choose the theme next time because YouTube got rid of polls, so that's just how we're doing it for now. Uh, make sure to like and s subscribe uh, if you want to, and comment your thoughts below. Bye!